All right, guys, so we set up the initial Google map in the last video. Now what we're going to do is set up an array of uh, location objects or marker objects that we can map um, onto the Google Maps. So we're going to we're going to have a we're going to keep the latitude and longitude here, and these are going to be the start position. OK, and you can set these wherever you'd like. I'm going to just throw in some values here. They're going to be in Massachusetts. So paste that in. And that. All right, I'm also going to set a zoom level. I'm going to get rid of this title here. And we'll say zoom level zoom. We'll set that to number and we'll set it to 10 by default. Okay, now for the markers. So markers, I'm going to set that to the type of marker and we'll create that class in a minute. Set that to an array. And it's going to be an array of objects. So we'll have name. Whoops. Name, we'll say company one. And we're going to have a latitude. Let me just grab that. And a longitude or LNG. And also draggable. All right, draggable is going to be a Boolean. We're going to set that to true. OK, so that's what our object will look like. I'm just going to throw two more of these in. OK. So now we have these objects or these markers. Let's go underneath underneath the properties and put in a constructor. All right, and nothing's going to go inside of this yet. And then under that, we're going to create our marker type. All right, and this is going to be an interface. So we're going to say interface marker. And let's set actually, you know what? This has to go outside of the class or it's not going to work. So we'll put that down here. So marker is going to have a name. Why do I keep writing main? So name, which will be optional to display. So we'll put a question mark. That's going to be a string. Then we'll have a lat, which will be a number. LNG, also a number. And I cannot type today and a draggable option. All right, and draggable is going to be a Boolean. OK, so that's our marker interface. And now you can see that that error has gone away here. And now what I want to do is plot these on the map. So let's save it. And then we're going to go, go to app component HTML and go down to where our map is. Just make that wider. And we're going to just add a bunch of stuff to this. OK, so for this tag here, I'm just going to put these down on their own lines. So we have our latitude and longitude. That'll stay. We're also going to have our zoom. And we'll set that to the zoom value. Um, we're also going to have an option called disable default UI. which does just that. You can disable the UI. Uh, we're going to set this equal to false. All right, and then let's set zoom control. That's actually going to be set to false. All right, and then we're going to have a an event here. So we'll say map click equals map clicked and then pass in the event. Now this now um, isn't hooked up. We don't have this function yet, but we, we will be creating it. I just want to get this stuff out of the way first. 
All right, so now we're going to move on to this Google Map marker. All right, we'll put these down. Okay, so we have um, latitude and longitude. Now we want, since we have an uh, an array of objects, we want to iterate through these. So we're going to go right above the latitude here, and we're going to put in an ng4. All right, so we're going to say ng4. And let's say let M of markers. We also want access to the index. So we'll do let I equals index. Okay, and then right under that, we're going to have an event. We're going to say marker click. All right, so map click is going to take care of when we click on an empty spot in the map and we want to put a marker there marker click is when we click the actual marker and we want to see the name and stuff like that all right so let's set this to clicked marker and then we'll just pass in that m value for the current marker and the index all right and then for the latitude we're going to say m dot lat because remember we're looking at this object now that we're iterating through so m dot lat m dot launch and we also want the draggable so let's put in brackets right here marker draggable and we're going to set that equal to m dot draggable okay which will be a boolean we want to be able to drag them around as well so we're going to say drag end and let's set that to marker drag end and we're going to pass in the m and then an event object all right and that should do it for that now for the uh, for the info we want to have an info window as well so let's go directly under this All right, we still want to be within this Google Map Marker. So right here, let's put in SEBM dash Google Map dash info window. Sorry for the slow typing. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get anything messed up here. All right, so we have our info window. And all we want in here is the name. So we're going to put in some strong tags. And in here, we'll put our double curly brace. And we'll say m.name. All right, and I think we should be good. So let's go ahead and let's put a space here and here. All right, and then we'll save that. Let that reload. And there we go. So we now have our markers. If I click it, you get company one. Okay, we can close them. Company three, company two. All right, now don't worry about this error yet. We just we don't have these functions, so it's going to give us these errors, but it's working uh, so far so good. All right, so in the next video, we're going to get into some of the map functions and events.